All right, so let's go uh, move on and see what we got going on on this typical Monday, ladies and gentlemen. It is the 29th of October. We're getting a nice little rally in the SOLO, up 176%, over almost 300,000 shares already traded. Looks like we got a little bit of a mover. Just remember, today is Monday. And not only that, it is we got three days left until the end of the pay period, and we got Halloween that's coming up in three days. So, um, Falling on a Wednesday is not always the greatest, but overall, it looks like we got a um, looks like we got a nice little push uh, push in the market today, and it looks like we're gonna make back of all the stuff that happened last week. We had a, a little nasty correction, but listen, you know, I, I was over this weekend. Uh, I was at my uh, at my you know at my club this weekend, my country club, and. And I know a lot of traders, and in my building, there's a lot of traders in my building, and you know they're they're different than me. You know they're they they're market makers. They work for some of the biggest firms in the world, and uh, and it's funny we always bounce ideas back and forth. And it's and we were talking about it. I'm like, and we were saying, why is everybody getting all freaked out about October? In the last hundred years, we all know that October is known to have October crashes. It's just what it is, and then they don't realize it that. People need to take their commissions. This is when they get paid. They made so much money in October. I mean, this year. So, you know, they have to, to get their holiday bonuses, they, this, they have to close out, you know, and sell the stocks in October and buy them back in November. So um, with all these people freaking out and stuff like that, listen, you know what? I, I think there might be a really good opportunity to buy in some stocks. But listen, who knows? When, as a day trader, I just know what happened in the past. Um, and every October, but we're only three days away. We'll see how we close out. Um, I can't wait to just get through this October, um, this October month. But uh, but we got three days left to our pay period. Now we'll keep an eye on this SOLO. But before we do that, uh, for some of you that are new here to Cybertrain University, just like we'll qu quickly remind you all, uh, this is a trading room, not a teaching room. So if you'd like to know what we're doing, make sure you talk to your education advisor. He'll give you a quick little update. So sit back and enjoy and just look, listen, and learn. All right. In the meantime, everyone, regarding about last week, we had a couple of good, nice little picks that made some nice moves. Uh, Y-E-C-O. Bring some of these stocks over here. That was basically our biggest winner on Friday. A lot of you guys were done typically, you know, what we always do right before lunchtime. Stock went from four fifty to nine dollars. Great, great pop up. That was probably our best trade. Uh, TWTR also had a good little move. Uh, you know, it's a little bit more of a brand name and everything else, but still not a fan. You know, you got to be a little bit more of an advanced trader. And the GLUU also was a nice little cheap little move for us. A little bit more controllable than all the rest. Overall, Friday was okay. It wasn't great, but. Um, we basically, uh, we made some money that, that one last stock, uh, the YECO. Now, guys, don't forget about it, uh, that if you didn't get it, there's always, once again, it's always a new week, but let's start fresh, all right? Now, uh, before we go through the watch list, just a heads up, everyone, remember, tomorrow is going to start phase three, the last lesson of all the lessons that you're going to be doing uh, the trading with me, where we're going to be tra trading together. So we're going to go out there. We're going to try to, you know, control our losses, learn from our losses, and how to monetize our winners. Let's go through the watch list really quick. So the big winner I'm going to keep an eye on is the SOLO. Um, only concern I have with this stock right here is, you know, if you're a new trader, you got to be, you got to be that, you know, here at Cybertrade University, we got levels from one to five. You got to be in the three or even a four category to trade the stock. Not a lot of big iceberg orders, if you see on the matrix on the right. Also a very, very big spread. I'm not even giving this a three. I'm giving it a four, okay? CR, um, CREG is another one, a little bit more in, inexpensive, up 26%, 360,000 shares. A lot of you remember this. We trade this back um, in um, May. The stock went from a buck 40 to about $4 in one day, actually in two days. So you know the stock does move. Go back to your go back to your journals and see how you traded it i read an article this morning regarding about china recycling energy and uh here on long island they're having a big big problem with recycling actually one of the biggest ones here on long island where i live i don't know where you live but where i am they're looking to close one down because they're not taking a lot of the recycling i still don't understand how they make money on that but they're selling it to china and they're not really 
taking it. So maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. But uh, stock took a big, big hit. It looks like it's coming back right now, but stock really, you could see it. It's been taking a very big hit lately. And uh, all I could tell you is what we see what happens over the course of the day. Red Hat. Here's a stock um, gapped up humongous this morning, but it was even up even more than what you can see. The stock, I think it's a buyout from what it's from what it looks like for me. I don't know what the actual buyout price is, but basically lost everything in about three months, made it all in one night. So uh, Red Hat, I'm just bringing it up. Looks like it's backing off, but stay away from it. It looks like basically it's the buyout. Uh, IBM buying it out. You know, let me tell you, IBM, yes. IBM obviously is taking a little bit of a correction here. IBM, it took a big, big hit. 155 down the, um, you can see it dropped all the way down to 118. It's come back a little bit. You know, I guess IBM's got to spend some money and they got to do something. I don't know what, you know, IBM was very, very, was the biggest blue chip stock out there. IBM was always an expensive stock. You know, uh, but uh, one thing about IBM, it hasn't gone anywhere. So I don't know what the story with that one is, but, um, but obviously they're probably stepping up their game right now, jumping into Red Hat. APRN's another one. Listen, we watched it early this morning. I just want, and, and it made a little bit of a pop, but it looked like it backed off. But I just want to bring up something very important about Blue Apron. If we were not good day traders, we would never know how to trade Blue Apron because we watched Blue Apron go from $2 all the way to $4. It had some big, big pops at some point. Very cheap stock, level one, fun stock to trade. But if we thought, like everyone else, as you know, thinking swing trade and brand and name, this and that, we got crushed on it. So um, for everybody here, just want to just bring this up and, and bring up Blue Apron because we know we, we every single one of us did trade this in the cyber group several times. We did really, really well. Even some of us even considered, even myself, I thought of saying, hey, you know what? I heard a couple of rumors that they maybe want to, you know, replace uh, welfare with Blue Apron, where instead of people getting, uh, you know, uh, food stamps, they were just going to mail them food. And that was like a big rumor that was going on, but obviously it doesn't look like it really went anywhere. So it backed off big time. But anyway, it's always nice to know where to get in, where to, uh, to have that game plan. Ben says Blue Apron's reports is now available on the Walmart Walmart's jet. Okay. All right, we got to look into that a little bit more. All right, uh, last but not least, the TSEM. I just want to bring up. So that one um, looks like it's been taking a nasty hit. $34 stock down to 17 Boom, now it's down 16%. Listen, the writing was on the wall. You want to be a good swing trader, you better damn well how to day trade because you saw it clear as day from October, from 22. Dow still flags. I mean, lower lows, everything you're looking for. So... She still looks a lot lower than where she's at. So I'm going to keep that one. Maybe I'll consider that one on the short list. Uh, also, yeah, the, um, the PBR, regarding about uh, the PBR, PBR looked uh, had a really, really nice pop right there. Uh, but now it looks like it's backing off. Uh, what, yeah, what happened? The, there's a new president right now, right, in Brazil? Yep. So that has a lot, could probably have a lot to do with it. Once again, uh, People always think like, how can I profit and benefit from what happens with presidencies and takeovers and plane crashes? Well, here you go. Good lesson learned with PBR. All right, everyone. So we got our list. Uh, by the way, not all of them are going to be move, moving a uh, move up. So we will always find new stocks. So um, we will broadcast it and see something, say something, you know, if, if something else comes up. But uh, we got something to work with. Listen, it's Monday. It's the end of the month. A lot of people here are looking to book profits. They want, they're going to get unbelievable Christmas bonuses. And don't, if you don't believe me, you just watch the news and you'll hear them bragging about it all day. Let me tell you, I, I, fortunately for me, I get invited to some of them. And let me tell you something. These parties, they don't blow a million dollars for a holiday party. Okay? They blow tens of millions of dollars. You can imagine what they do. So these guys made a lot of money this year. Uh, expect a lot of people spending money this year. So, you know, don't, be, uh, don't feel uh, that we had a little bit of correction and crying what happened in October. We'll really know definitely if it has something to do with it once the election's over and going into mid-November if this is uh, the real deal. But overall, you know, people got to make money, right? We all got to eat. 
So commissions are what they work on, and that's what it's about. So let's see what happens in the next three days. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. See you back at 2.30. And don't forget, phase three starts tomorrow, so make sure you register. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading today.